Ninth round, here we come. So like we said, Montenegro really need to, well, win this ninth round. Obviously, win this ninth round, they'll probably choose CT, stick with it. And uh, hope to win the bog standard first three rounds as CT. But of course, we saw Montenegro's CT on Inferno and they lost a pistol round, so... Even if they do win the ninth round, you don't win that pistol round, well, you haven't gained much, really. And you've given away three, well, three rounds on uh, a side, on the side, sorry, where you should be getting those rounds. But anyways, Fister is going to take down Misko. Hertz uh, getting two nerf kills for himself. I think Hertz is from Liverpool. Flipping heck. There is MR, the last man standing. And the team kills come in. And we said Macedonia need to win the ninth round. Did they win the ninth round? The answer to that is no. So here we go. As expected, the team that won the ninth round decided to stick a CT. Is of course CT side map, like we've said about a gazillion times. So let's have a look at how they're going to set up. Quite a few nades actually. Fister threw that decoy grenade. Ah, well that's a good decoy. But anyway, Montenegro going to push right onto this upper bomb site here. Fister's in trouble. Whoa, Fister landed that headshot onto Mister. Kronos and NRK, both with two Glock kills apiece. So Madbone hurts and Anakin, the only CTs left alive. Anakin will take down Drix. Kronos, Anakin with his second. Anakin, the last man standing on one HP. Are we going to see the first flash kill on CSGO? I hope so. But anyways, Anakin is going to make his way. Ooh, he's, oh, he sees Kronos, takes him down, and NRK. NRK is going to know exactly where Anakin is now. Anakin is going to spot him. It's a battle of wits here now, and NRK won that battle. 1-0 Montenegro. That's exactly what they needed. Definitely. I mean, I'm, I'd like to say that's the sign of things to come, but I think after the, those uh, four fragments CD side on the retake, I'm yet to be convinced. As they were actually 19 HP on the last terrorist. 19, that was one shot from the counter terrorist. Mm. That could have been it. So I'm yet to be convinced. <laughs> Fair enough. So, of course, now Montenegro do have the financial advantage. They have a few SMGs in their hands. Zrix with that OPP90. Nice nuclear threat pistol from Anakin. And, well, there aren't any Montenegro players even watching Ramp. And Anakin, well, he's so close to them now that uh, he could even manage to take one or two of them by surprise. Hertz is going to be in trouble. He's going to pop out. Is he going to pick the right time to pop out? Yes, he is. He takes down Misko Kronos. But I'll tell you what, a kill's a kill. Three versus two. Now Fister and Madbone, the CTs left standing. They know that Madbone is outside, or maybe they don't. Actually, both CTs are outside. So they're going to try and get this pick onto Kronos. I think they need to work as a team now. It is a team game. Kronos is going to take down Fister. Last man standing is that man right there, Madbone, who managed to take Kronos out, but uh, his frag, unfortunately, wasn't sufficient. 2 0 Montenegro. Not too bad from the CT side. I mean, three frags is a. Uh pretty good on eco round but the T still to get the bomb plant and obviously the round wins so uh, still looking at Montenegro's favour money wise <laughs> so I mean in your opinion that the situation Montenegro were in they had SMGs they had the gun advantage do you think they did the right thing by taking their time and being cautious by no. not wanting to lose their weapons or do you think they should have just gone straight in there and well use the fact that they've got the nades they've got the run and spray weapons like the P90 what do you think? Johnny, you there? Hello? Johnny? Guys, we've lost Johnny. Anyways, it doesn't matter now. Three versus five. Montenegro. They've taken out three CTs. This is going to take out NRK without silenced USP. Let's have a look what's going to happen. He has managed to pick up that AK-47, though. He's hiding in vents. Mister's going to push out. Oh, good, good play from Spex. He did manage to take Misko out. Spexy with two. Ha <laughs> ha! have turned this around. Really 
fast and Fist is the last man standing is he going to try and save this he does have no armor of course do they know he's coming from there he's going to throw that flash in there he's going to throw the nade he's already spotted one of the teeth he's going to deal quite a bit of damage onto Mister Mister's going to push Fister wow that rhymes Fister's going <laughs> to put that smoke down onto the floor he's dealt a lot of damage onto Mister but Mister took Fister down and uh, <laughs> Mister took Fister down Sorry uh, about that last one. I did, in fact, sit on my mic's mute button. Oh, that explains uh, it then. <laughs> but I was saying uh, to myself, apparently, that uh, I think they should have rushed the sides. I mean, looking from the past game, they're not that great at holding angles, really. Yeah. And they did lose two players from it. They should have rushed it, should have taken the side. And the rounds obviously would go quicker to get that momentum. The, 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 the Croatians think, oh, we're dying pretty quickly. Yeah. Maybe we're not going to do so great in this game. It is a psychological game as well. I agree, I cool. agree. Definitely. So, Madbone... He's, he's, Madbone can see the hand of a terrorist outside. He did shoot, but it wasn't good enough. So, uh, three terrorists making their way towards outside. Misko's already in uh, front steps. And heading towards that lower bomb site. Mister and... Uh, Zrix it is. Look like they're making their way towards ramp room. Misko gets first build onto Anakin, so well played Mr. Misko. And he's gonna get a second kill. Spexy! Once again, Spexy's been brilliant, but Misko will get his second kill of the round. Madbone gets that frag onto Zrix. And can he get that second frag? No, he can't. Three on three now, it's still anybody's game. If Montenegro get this one, they're gonna have to try and capitalize on it. But at the moment, doesn't look very likely as Hertzer takes down Misko. Hertzer gets that other frag. Where are you, Hertzer? Well played, my son. But anyways, three versus one. Mr. The Last Man Standing. And, well, at the moment, he's just stood in ramp room. The bomb is, of course... The bomb is, of course, actually on Mr. Which is something I wasn't quite expecting. So now he's going to try and peek out. He's already one of the CTs has spotted him. Can he pull off that shot? Hurts her with the hat trick, and uh, Croatia get an important round. It's still the Southern Montenegro. They still don't have that synergy that the Croatian players have got. I mean, the fans having the three v three situation where one of the terrorists was at the front steps, one on the B site, and the other was still at the top of the ramp, mm. moving into the ramp site, and he had the bomb. And you can't be split up like that on a map such as Noob, which is, like we said, so CT sided and you need it. an extreme amount of teamwork to be able to get the bomb down, never mind win rounds. I agree, but anyway, the Stampede of Terrace made their way in towards that ramp area. Now Anakin missed that first frag, did manage to get a second, he did get an assist, two from Anakin. Well played, Mr. Anakin. So, three terrorists down already, which leaves, of course, only two. Zrix, how's that P90? Mr.'s watching behind. And, well, if I was Zrix, I'd want to save this P90. And uh, Anakin got his own hat trick, made Zrix pay the price. I don't know why Zrix had a P90. Surely he bought it accidentally. But he went for it, and now, uh, well, he's going to pay the price. Literally. Because it's going to hurt his finances. He looked like he had a 5.1k there, so he had more than the rest of his team. Unless, oh, I enough. believe, that's after they bought. I'm not quite sure. But, um... Maybe. Yeah, he, he shouldn't have got a 90. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so let's have a look at the scores. Anakin with 7 kills, 4 deaths. For the Croatians, Hertzer not too far behind. 5 kills, 3 deaths. Spexy, 3 kills, 4 deaths. Fister, 3 kills, 3 deaths. And Madbone, the only Croatian on a negative KD. With 2 kills, 3 deaths. As far as Montenegro are concerned, we've got 5 frags for NRK. With 3 deaths. Kronos with 5 frags and 5 deaths. Misko with 4 frags, 5 deaths. ZRYX with 2 kills, 3 deaths, and MR on 2 kills, 5 deaths. And to be honest, I should have probably been casting what was going on. But anyways, the terrorists somehow find themselves in that lower bomb side, but Zrix now and NRK. Hurts with that shot. It is going to be a second for this round. Ooh, good shot from Kronos. Madbo now with the AWP. Oh, just missed that shot. You really need to land that shot into into events. I almost said apps there. And Kronos is going to... He knows he's up against an AWPer. One thing you don't... Ooh, ooh, wow, he just missed it. Madbone, wow, good shot from Madbone. Wow. Kills happening all over the place right now. Mad Bone! Wow! <laughs> One AK. I think he saw NRX make his way into. Uh, into. Why do I keep thinking apps? He made his way into vents and 1 AK'd him. Well, Croatia are now 3 3. Mad Bone just kept his composure. Not many players can do that against an but in such a you know, compact position such as vents. 
it's a harder shot to make than you think it is, and a quick peek, against, especially against an orper, and he kept his calm, got the guy on sight, took his time to get the guy on vent, he knew he had to peek. So yeah, he, he was 100% ready for that shot, and it certainly paid off. Fantastic play. So, Montenegro, we've got four Montenegrins in lobby, and they're gonna run right into Fister. So Fister does have that silence M4, which of course does lack ten bullets as opposed to the normal M4. Fister with two, Spexy with two. And uh, is Spexy gonna get the hat trick? No, he won't, because Madbone's gonna steal the kill. But a kill's a kill, and Counter Strike, as we all know, is a team game. So we are seeing the CTs on the CT sided map fighting back well, 4 3. But Montenegro, three rounds already. I don't think they'll be too disappointed, surely not. No, um, no. I mean, they're looking a little bit stronger than they were on Inferno. I mean, after, yeah. for example, running one by one through smoke and things like <laughs> that, they all stick a little bit together as a team. But I mean, a lot of work is still needed, definitely. Of course, if anyone has just joined us, Croatia did win the first map 16-4 on Inferno. So Montenegro, if they are going to live to fight another day. They are going to have to try and win this map here on Nuke. And he's saying the Montenegrins were sticking together. That's definitely what they're doing right now. But Madbone doesn't care. <laughs> Lovely headshot by him. And now they've got Spexy to deal with. He managed to take down Misko. But uh, Kronos replied with a frag. So three versus four now. None of the CTs who are left alive have been tagged. Talking about CTs not being tagged. Fist has been tagged. And uh, he's now dead. So three on three. Zrix on 22 HP, he doesn't look very healthy at the moment. NRK is closer to Anakin than he thinks, and he's going to know that now. That Oh, what's NRK doing? There he is, he finally got the kill after he popped out of that window from Hut. He was looking according to the radar, he spotted Madbone and takes good care of him. And Montenegro, well, they've turned this around. As we said, ZRYX is on 22 HP. So, all it takes is one or two quick bullets from Hertz as Silence them 4 to take care of him. Hertzer can hear the terrorists right above him and he's got to pick the right time to push out now. He hears the bomb going down, does manage to get that frag onto ZYYX but NRK, he popped out of Hut, took down Hertzer, 4-4. I mean, uh, I don't know if you saw, the bomb was down outside. The two terrorists were on either side of the bomb but they were a little bit hesitant that Hertzer was in fact in warehouse or on crows or in city spawn. That was about 5-6 seconds. Hertz did have a, like I said, 5-6 second advantage, which in this game means everything. And he did get the pick on the bomb planter, which was, uh, which was a good play. But uh, despite that, the last terrorist did in fact take him out. He get, did get the round, so that was pretty unlucky from Hertz, really. So a buy round for both the terrorists and the counter terrorists, which is, of course, what we like to see. So who's going to get first blood here then? Spexley playing inside of main Misko stood on top of yellow no CTs to deal with just yet and Mister he's making his way into the lobby so NRK deals damage onto Fister I think he heard Fister right above him or maybe he was just spamming for fun and uh, NRK might have no idea that he's tagged anyone so 5 on 5 still 57 seconds remaining make that 54 now Anakin one thing I've noticed is the fact that Anakin has had a bit of a free roll at ramp he's been able to push towards lobby and that of course doing that allows him to make the map smaller for the terrorists which means mm -hmm. life is well easier for the CTs because uh, they don't know where the terrorists are going but anyway the push is going to commence now Herzer with one, Zrix with one, Fistle with one, Misko with one and Madbone as well so two versus three make that a two versus two and uh, Montenegro they have a chance to take the lead once again now Mr. Hears where Anakin's coming out from but Anakin well he just popped out of her he took down Chrono in heaven and uh, the last Montenegrin was easy stuff but I do think Montenegro should have probably done better that last mm -hmm. round I mean like you said with Anakin on the ramp it's a bit similar to how it wasn't Banana in the last Inferno game they were a bit Good hesitant point. to go that way Anakin can take two of them down quite easily they were also waiting in the lobby for Anakin to push like he did at Banana then that's it it's just wasting time and when they do make the push all the nades the CT still have nades they've not used any the T's use all of theirs the CT's remain cool and it's just it's just a spray now that is it, is it because yeah. there is such advantage on being on the low ground Anakin can just come and clean up. 
So, we see more or less. So, well, I think this is very similar to what we saw in the last round. Anakin once again in that free roll. Well played, Anakin. Hat trick from Anakin. And, uh, you know, normally you emphasize hat tricks and four mans like that, but we've seen so much from Anakin, mm -hmm. it's not a surprise anymore. I mean, it just happened exactly like I said. It holds it, they're a bit hesitant, they wait for the push, because he can easily get a two man, in this case, a four man. As he did push. Yeah. So if they're expecting a push, they should have got him before he got one player. Never mind four. Yeah. Again, like, we saw two, we were three terrorists. We saw two terrorists, sorry, in lobby, and the other three were still in T-spawn. Kind of, not yeah. in T-spawn, just before you enter lobby, around the wall. And yeah, I don't yeah. understand the benefit of doing that. Get in your positions, terrorists. Make sure you've got everything on a lockdown. Don't let the CTs push you like that. It's a CT-sided map, and they'll punish you if they manage to cut off pits of the map. And anyways, Madbone now, can he cut off outside? He definitely cuts off NRK's head. Missed that second shot, but they know miss goes there. Spaxi has played this very well, actually. I think they've spotted him on the radar, perhaps. He's definitely heard a few go down front steps. He's playing ninja at the moment. Anakin is... Uh, Actually waiting in near that lower bomb site to greet them. So they are gonna push him of course. Hello, hello. Can Anakin get that other frag? Yes he can. Anakin makes it look easy. Three man from Anakin, there's a four man. Anakin, take a bow, son. Four AK forty seven headshots. The How does he do it? Life. He's just got the, the, I don't know if you saw how fast he rotated. You got that first pick, and there were three more terrorists around the corner and they saw Anakin's name pip pop up, getting a pick on their teammate. They all stopped dead in their tracks. Yeah. Went in one by one. Four man again from Anakin. He's had the time of his life. Again, like you said, they stopped and obviously that allowed Anakin to to well, QQ his gun. It allowed him to get his gun ready once again because if they had carried on pushing in, I think they could have possibly caught him off guard because he would have already He's already shot a few bullets from his gun, and the recoil would have been slightly more off. So, uh, really, Montenegro really are falling into their own traps. Now, Fister with two. He's going to pull that pistol out. Fister with a third. Fister with a four, man. <laughs> Montenegro are being demolished. They're being absolutely slaughtered on Nuke at the moment. Montenegro, wake up and sort it out. Because it's not good enough. It's not fun to cast. And, well, they're already a map down. Come on, Montenegro. I can only imagine what's going on on the Croatian team speed more right now. As your hey, Anakin, source TV played up, turn. where the players are sort of like just sliding down on the floor? Uh, no, mine's uh, no, fine. My players are sliding. It looks like they're ice skating. Yeah, well, this <laughs> makes cast a little bit more fun then. <laughs> Probably, but anyways, Montenegro now, of course, five AKs is what we've seen from Montenegro. Mad Bone with the AWP outside for Croatia. And Montenegro, they really need a round on the board now. They're taking it so slow like they were on Inferno, but again, it doesn't look like... They don't have smokes in the right area. They don't have any flashes going towards the right places. They're standing around as if they're waiting for the CTs to make a mistake. But... We, we've well, you'd think they'd learn from mistakes that Croatia are a very good side and they they well they aren't going to make mistakes. Talking about that, Hertz has only just gone and made a mistake now. So Anakin is the last man standing on ramp. What can he do now? He's hiding behind that smoke. Will spot Kronos gets that kill and Anakin. Can we see something else spectacular from him? Three from Anakin. Oh, and he's going to try and get this four man now. Zrix is there. Anakin is just spraying away. Can Anakin then get? Oh, Zrix took him down. And, uh, you know what? I should just spectate Anakin. Because Montenegro, this is shooting practice for Anakin. I just don't know. He's got 22 frags and 7 deaths. He's got 5 MVP stars. He's got his very cool sitting on a nice 10k cash pile. He smoked his flash. The T's are rushing in. They don't do anything about him. And they're right in front of him. And they still managed to get 3. Nearly 4. It's just not working for Montenegro. Not at all. If you were on this Montenegro side, what would you change round now? What would you do? I mean, based on what you've seen so far, of course, there is, well, there's two rounds left. Montenegro can, of course, still get 9-6. What would you do? Like I said earlier, they uh, stick together. I've been trying to, but uh, they need to... They just, uh, I can't hear their team speak them or whatever they're using, but... To me, they just look like they've got no synergy as a team. Yeah. And they're all tripping on silly mistakes. Like they're not flashing the right places. They're not holding corners properly. I mean, they're 
I think we respected a bit too much of the CT side on the, the, the pushing wise. And that the wasting time for these pushes. We've been slagging off on Senegro. And uh, whilst we were slagging them off, they just got round number five. So, <laughs> fair play, Montenegro. I'm not, like, slagging them off, like you said, but... Well, to be fair, we were both slagging them off. But they, yeah, but based for, on what we've seen so far, I think yeah. they they deserved it. For a European Championship side, I think the standards of play should be a lot higher than they've been playing right now. Yeah, definitely. But if Croatia do manage to get 10-5... Then they'll be happy with that. Based on what we've seen so far, I think they'll be able to snatch it. I mean, one thing that I found quite interesting, like just looking at Madbone, he's been open outside quite a lot, and he's seen a lot of Montenegro arms. He's of course not shooting at them, but maybe that's a mistake on Montenegro's behalf. Surely they should be standing in positions where they know an Orpa can't see their arms, kind of thing. And talking about Madbone seeing arms, he's just landed a lovely bullet into the arm of ZRYX as he goes down. Hertz is waiting for Montenegro. Uh, back steps, uh, front steps actually. So Corona will take him down, three on three. Now Mister on to Spexy to make it three for the CTs. And uh, Montenegro, they've changed it round. They're going to this lower bomb site and it's paying off for him. Madbone now, of course, only has that big green gun, the Orp, which of course is a very powerful gun. Because it's so big, it's so heavy, it's not very agile. It's difficult to retake bomb sites with it. And, well, Montenegro are making Croatia pay the price. But so we're talking about Madbone. Down he goes. He did get an important kill though. So Fista is the last man standing for Croatia. Gets that first kill too from That's Fista. Deserves a round of applause after that. He timed it to perfection. There's no other way to put it. He uh, popped out at the right time. He was in the right place at the right time. 10-5 to Croatia. Like you were saying, I mean, the arms and the legs sticking out. I mean, it gives Mudbone time to go, hey, to go outside. I'm not sure if they're going downstairs. Someone go downstairs. That's how they've always got someone on the back stairs, like for example Anakin or Hurtzer. Hmm. They always pick up the two entry frags. They find themselves in a nice five versus three, maybe four versus three, in case they did get a pick outside yeah. on the CTs. And it is a simple retake. And that, that that's why the score line's like it is. So, pistol round. Montenegro will you know, we say this a lot, but they really need to win this pistol round now. The question is, are they going to win it? Um, I think, fair play to Montenegro. They were, they figured out eventually, with two rounds to go, that they were taking the lower bomb site slightly better than they were the upper bomb site. But I think it was too late in Croatia. Well, they've made their way onto this upper bomb site, and there's no one to resist them really. Hertzer will get first blow onto strikes, and Hertzer gets his second kill, hiding behind the door there. But Mister will uh, make him pay the price for those earlier two kills. Nice Molotov grenade from the CTs, or incendiary grenade, or whatever they call it. But anyways, Croatia, Madbone, and Croatia Anakin with a clean sweep. My question there to you is where were Montenegro on the upper bomb site? Where were they? Two players were outside like that. ZOYX is stood out in the open by the main doors, gets picked from the side. Other player from outside goes in, gets picked by the guy coming out of the main. That's two players down outside in useless positions really. There's no need to have two people outside on a pistol round. You need them inside for a rush like that. Yeah. I completely agree, and uh, what we were saying, where are Montenegro on the upper bomb side? Oh, they're only going to stack it with four. So, uh, standard eco bash from them. Two kills for Spexy, two kills for Madbone, and Kron, or Kronos, is the last CT standing, and Madbone knows exactly where he is, and uh, takes good care of him. And Croatia, flying high at the moment, 12-5. There's nothing I can say about that. Like you said, standard eco bash. Although, instead of rafters, I mean, it's, it's an, a, maybe triple nade outside just in case, maybe double nade, triple nade, just in case there is a push outside from the T side, as they do have ranged weapons. Yeah. That's obviously something the T's might choose to do, like you said, because of their weapons. Oh, can shoot a lot better. Anakin there. We, well, he was sleeping, and Misko made him pay the price, and Misko has a free AK 47 now. So, Misko, lovely AK 47 red laminate in his hands. He's still on top of that upper bomb site. He's waiting for Madbone to peek now. Oh, he's going to drop down. See you later, Madbone. So four versus four, but Fister took out Misko. But um, I don't think he realised that 
Misko had an AK-47 on his dead body. So two versus three now. Montenegro in trouble. Especially Kron is on 18 HP. So Montenegro gonna have to tr try and change something around. Hertz uh, and Fist are both on 100 HP, and of course do have the weapon advantage. Statrak MP7 schools in the hands of Hertz. Fist uh, chilling in vents. Spexy near toxic. So, are Montenegro actually saving P2000s here? It looks like. I think they're going for their old uh, the slow push. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Kronos has picked that MP7 up. He knows that the terrorists have gone up there. Does he? Oh, he's got his knife out. He's gonna spot one of them, gets that frag. Oof. Well, well, played. well played. He obviously by doing that he managed to prevent Fister and Spectre from saving their weapons, but I think it's gonna take a lot more than two mm -hmm. cheeky exit frags to turn the game around for Montenegro, unfortunately. What I'm starting to see now is it's not Croatia's aim that is superior to Montenegro, it's the positioning. They're always yeah. finding themselves in the better position to be able to pre fire the corners. I mean, uh, Montenegro aren't able to do anything, and yeah, they're already there because of Croatia's position. Anyway, the Stampede now, terrorists making their way onto this upper bomb site. Spexy with first bullet onto NRK, ZRYX, managed to get a constellation kill. Anakin, lovely shot, and Spexy gets number two for himself. And it's shooting left, right, and center. AK 47 and M4 bullets flying left, right, and center all over this bomb site. So Misko looks like he's making his way into this bomb site, two towards Name. Down goes Misko. And Misko pushed in there by himself, and Mister, he stayed stood still in Main. Like, surely they should have pushed in together, in my opinion, rather than. Again. Another example of the lack of synergy between the two, especially on a retake, especially when they're supposed to be T side. Like you said several times, it's a teamwork oriented game, and especially on a map like this, this is a very hard map to play without teamwork. You cannot go solo on this map. Hmm. So, what's going to happen here then? The terrorists, well, they tried rushing on the last round, it paid off for them, they're going to try and rush ramp now. Madbone has been dinked. Misko will get first bullet onto Spexy with that OPP90. It looks like the terrorists just want to get down to this lower bomb site and get the bomb down, but they've changed their mind. They are chilling around in ramp room. They can, of course, now make their way up from here, up to heaven, and guess what? Well, four out of five CTs are on the lower bomb site. So, Croatia have uh, done very well to uh, confuse Montenegro. But despite that, they are one man, no, make that two men down. Make that one man down now. Fister, two kills from him. So Mister is going to go on the hunt for Fister. But uh, it was actually Kronos who got the kill. So finally, a Montenegrin round, and I'm happy for him. Yeah, me too. And I don't <laughs> think it was such a bad thing to have four people on the lower bomb side. They were, I don't know if you saw, hanging pretty close to the vents. So... They were able to quickly go up the vents, get the pick, go back down just in case someone did in fact take the bomb down there. Fair uh, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't have put four people down there, but luckily it paid off. Yeah. Yeah, they did the retake very well and uh, caught Croatia by surprise. It's interesting that two of the Montenegro players do have pharmacies. And Misko, well, he doesn't like that P90, doesn't he? If this was CS Source, we'd be laughing at him, but CS Go, that P90, my word, that's one heck of a weapon. But anyways, NRK will take down Fister. Misko, talking about his P90, he manages to get that frag, and the second frag. So Hertz uh, takes down Kronos, but Croatia, of course, are two men down. They're making their way in towards Ramp Room now, but the bomb is on, s on Spexy. It is. He's waiting in lobby. So Mr. and Misko, near this lower bomb site. I think it's because they spotted... Actually, no. W who was the terrorist who went who went towards front steps? Or was I imagining things? No, it was Hertzer. It was Hertzer. I think he managed to confuse him. What am I on about? But anyways, four versus two now. Mr. Owens Reich's holding that upper bomb site. NRK has his eye on ramp room. And well, we've got to see something from the terrorist now. Spexy and Hertzer mate, they've made their way outside. They're actually underneath heaven. And with 25 seconds to go, and with the bomb on the back of Spexy, they really do need to get this plant, that plant down. Hertz is going to go down. Spexy, the bomb planter, of course, is going to turn around. Is he going to nail him in the AK? No, he's not. He's got his eye. He's surrounded by two CTs, actually. One of which is very heavily tied with Misko, but then OK deals with him very well. 14 7.
I think... Again, Monday. Sorry, go on. No, yeah, I was just going to say, I was quite surprised because Croatia were underneath heaven. I thought they were going to actually go up heaven and then maybe try and get the bomb down. This is like 20 seconds to go. And it looked to me like they were fooling around outside. Like, it wasn't necessary. Don't know what you think about it. Uh, I agree. That's what I was going to say along those lines, yeah. Yeah. Great minds think alike. <laughs> Definitely. Anyways, we see an eco from the terrorists. Misco's definitely heard, well, a heck of a load of terrorists make their way towards the front steps. Misco is going to actually come from behind now. I don't think they've heard him. I'm going to keep watching him. We saw a few CTs drop down towards this lower bomb site, and Misco is going to have an AK-47 fest at the moment. Misco finally gets that frag we were waiting for. Fister and Herta. Oh, bye-bye, Fister. And Herta, the last man standing. Can uh, Montenegro take him down? The answer to that is yes, we just saw a uh, two-man from Kronos and a two-man from Fister. So, box standard round. I think the CTs will be chuffed for winning that. Yeah, so definitely speaking of what we on in Agrivar, to get in the rotates at the right time, to send the right amount of people in the right places, and they are catching the Croatians out. To find themselves in a lot better positions than four versus twos rather than, and they're not losing them like they did in the Inferno. So, Flash is going into this upper bomb site now. And we're going to see an amazing comeback from Montenegro. Only time will tell, of course, if anyone's just joined us. You're a bit late, but it doesn't matter. Welcome to uh, Twitch TV. Croatia did win the first map 16 4 against Montenegro on Inferno. So, Montenegro, really, they uh, well, it's a must win map for them now here on Nuke. If they are going to take this whole game to a third map. It is of course a best of three. So Fister spamming towards ramp. We haven't seen a proper push yet from the Croatians. 55 seconds on the clock. The flashes have gone into that upper bomb site. Is it a fake? It was a fake. And we've got Fister and Herzer near ramp room. Kronos is the only CT they have to deal with. Kronos is going to pop out now. That smoke has cut him off. Is he going to manage to take Anakin down? Nope. This is making his way towards under heaven now. While Spexy makes his way towards that lower bomb site. Misco, my game has lagged. What's going on here then? Oh, well, my, my game, uh, my Go TV just died and then it came back to life yeah, and they I'm were like four sure killed. Did that happen to you as well? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Deary me. But anyways, let's just assume that never happened and the bomb's gone down now. Anakin with that AK-47 red laminate in his hands. They know where Zreix is. Zreix will take Anakin down. Hertzer with that frag. Ooh, Hertzer pulled out that flash at the wrong time. And, of course, he didn't have an AK, so now it's a game of cat and mouse, and Hertzer well wins that game. Well played, and 15-8 for Croatia. So, uh, they've uh, more or less secured the draw, as far as normal time's concerned. <laughs> and I've got an invisible terrorist, and I've got... I've got invisible CTs as well, and one CT who's wearing a terrorist model. So I think I'm going ah. to have to reconnect. I don't know if you have the the same, uh, same I've issue. Got same issue as yeah, well. I think we're going to have to <laughs> try and re re reconnect. I can. Uh, where you going? I can just update you what's going on. Not much, I assume, at the moment. <laughs> uh, no, there's been three frags and a bomb. Oh, is that it? No, a correction. It's currently four versus two to the terrorists. All oh, right, and the five man and here. There's been a bomb plant on the A side. All oh, right, you were being serious. Oh, my bad. I, 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 yeah. All yeah, oh, right, my bad, my bad. I'm uh, serious. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, Croatia have just gotten it 16-8. Yeah, there's a 16th <laughs> round. Sorry about that last last uh, issue, yeah. guys. But yeah, Croatia won map two 16-8. We saw an improvement from the Montenegrins, but it wasn't enough. They managed to get double what they did on Inferno, but again, eight rounds isn't enough. So, uh, let us know what you guys thought about the match in in uh, the Twitch chat. Yeah, that's it. And apologies once again for mixing up Montenegro with Macedonia. I'm not quite sure what I was playing at. But yeah, everyone who tuned in, thanks for watching. Remember to follow the Twitch channel. I've been Kyanite, and with me has been... Johnny. Hello. Johnny, hello, yeah. Thanks for watching, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching.